Okay, I'm Bob Hillhouse. I serve the University of Tennessee, Knoxville as the Chief Information Security Officer, as well as the Associate CIO for Disaster Recovery and Business Continuity. So, you know, historically, T UT has been involved in disaster recovery f since probably the mid-90s. Uh, that was mainly around mainframe systems, and it consisted of people making tapes and keeping them in a vault on campus. Uh, somewhere in the uh, late 90s, the state of Tennessee said, you know, it's probably a good idea if you take those off campus. And so we did that. And we started developing more of a procedure to recover those from the offsite location and then bring them back up at our system when our systems were back, uh, back up and running. So that's evolved over time to, as more systems were added, uh, more dependencies, more applications were added, um, more business critical systems were added to include systems that we typically weren't on the main that typically weren't on the mainframe that we ended up having to uh, consider oh if we need this we also need this and we also need this so we started doing that uh, and the program just grew uh, state requirements um, are one thing our administration expects us to be uh, they require and demand that we're good stewards of the information that we're provided by our constituents, our students, our staff, our faculty, our researchers. Uh, and then I don't know anybody that hasn't read the newspaper or if they've uh, seen any uh, media of uh, the disasters, the hurricanes, the breaches that happen uh, continually now. So there's a, there's a uh, public relations aspect to this too that we're perceived as being responsible for the state's data. The first year of the contract, we didn't select rescue. You know, we, we bid, this was a, a bid process, a competitive bid process where um, AT&T won the bid and one of the contractors that AT&T presented was uh, rescue and Chorus 360. And the first year we didn't select them because it's part of a bid process, but the way our, our contracts work is we renew those every year. Uh, after year two, after year one, we selected to continue the contract. Um, you know, relationships uh, for us are more important, one of the most important aspects of this process. Uh, it takes several tests, it takes several years for you to be, to reach that level of relationship with your partners in order to be successful at whatever you do. Uh, because then there's expectations that they have that we meet and vice versa. So uh, if, if the question had come to me in year two of, uh, from AT&T of do you want to continue with RESQ or do you want to look at another contractor, we would have continued with RESQ. So one of the biggest differentiators for us with RESQ is that uh, it's, they're more than just providing services to us. Uh, they actively participate in building those relationships that are required for making this successful. They, um, they're very communicative, they're very uh, professional in the way that they handle the, the technology, but the technology becomes the easy part. The harder part is the relationship and the communications. I think Rescue um, is committed to that communication and that improvement of the process. So at UT, we take DR seriously because it's responsible management of our IT resources. I mean, plain and simple. It's not security, it's not recovery, it's not disaster recovery, it's responsible management. You're responsible for these systems, you're responsible for uh, ensuring that there is a continuity of that business, that we're con we can continue to give grades, uh, give de uh, grant degrees, pay staff. Um, UT's an organization a lot like a city uh, where 
we are a provider of services to uh, neighborhoods and houses and people across the state of Tennessee. Um, I don't think that anyone would consider it responsible if a city didn't uh, take steps to protect critical resources like power or uh, like data. Um, the mayor wouldn't have his job long. But I think um, it is just good management. Uh, it is good stewards. As the chief information security officer, I'm concerned about ensuring that even in, during this process, that our data is protected as well here as it is there. And over uh, the period of years that we've worked with RESQ, uh, the facilities here has become just an extension of our data center. And that uh, we're comfortable with the facilities, we're comfortable with the, the processes that are in place here as much as we are at home. Today, I'm very confident that if we were to declare that we could recover these systems within the uh, required 72 hours that the university's placed on us. Um, I'm confident that over, or I'm pleased that over the last few years, this process has improved to the point where we've cut the uh, return to operation down to a lot less than 72 hours. So I feel more confident today than I did when we first began this process with rescue.